Okay, so I'm gonna film a barn vlog for you guys because I haven't done anything in a while and the video ideas that I have I think will be better if I get someone to film them for me. So I'm not gonna do those, so I'm just gonna do a morning bar barn vlog. But first things first, if you guys like saving money like me, this is like an ice fill shirt that feels like identical to um, the Tailored Sportsman ice fill shirts in quality. But it's a lot cheaper. The brand is Arian, and you can get it at Greenhawk. And it's quite a lot cheaper than the Taylor Sportsman ones, and it's equally as nice. In fact, I think it might even be like a bit like more breathable than the Taylor Sportsman one. So I think in the summertime, this one's actually a better choice. And I also like this better than um, the Taylor Sportsman one. I like that they put the brand like right there. But um, yeah, it's reversed because this is flipped so that I can use the front camera but anyway so I highly recommend this I really really like it I'm so surprised by the quality and really like pleasantly surprised so anyways I'll put the link down below if you guys want to check it out and consider ordering so I'm gonna work with some horses that aren't mine you can kind of see her the palomino and then the far back one by the fence not the other one in the shelter but first let's say hi to my boys and I can pull off their blankets since it's clear today. Milo! Archie! Come on! Don't be turds! Here we go, Archie always comes first. <sighs> they brought their ball all the way over to the far end. Oh my god, he's running. Oh, they both are. Oh, Milo's chasing him away. <gasps> Hi, boys! Hi! Now they're nice and naked, and Milo's a big bully. And yeah, so naked boys, and then I'm gonna go do the other horses first. Then I'll come back for Milo, and Archie probably gets today off, maybe, although it's nice, so I should probably do him. Milo. Okay, so we have my friend Mia here, and we're gonna go and do either a ride or a lunge, which I probably won't film due to the fact that it takes off a lot of space to just leave my phone up, because we're not usually in frame the whole time, and I don't have anyone to film here, so it's just kind of easier to let my phone charge while I exercise them. So we'll probably do that. Mia is a quarter horse and I'm not sure how old she is, but she's the mom to the other horse that I'll be working today and they came from an auction. And that's Mia, my friend. She's muddy so I'm not gonna brush the wet mud because then it'll just get brushed into her skin. But I'm gonna shed her. Okay, so we're done. I just ended up lunging her because I gave them the last couple days off and I'm probably going to ride them tomorrow or Tuesday, depending on the weather. And I'm in a little bit of a rush today because I have to go somewhere else and ride two horses and then do groundwork with two more. So um, I just want to make sure I have enough time to do at least Milo, but hopefully also Archie because the weather's okay today. So yeah, I'm just gonna be lunging, I think. They're happy and naked in their shelter. This is my next victim. Her name's Trouble, and she is Mia, the one I just did. She's her daughter. And Archibald's watching me. He's like, what about me? Milo, what? Hi, kids. Okay. okay, so I might actually ride her because she tends to get more out of the rides and she's been pretty good lately, so I think I'm just going to get on. But I don't think I'm going to rig the camera to film just because like what I mentioned before. But yeah, I've been so busy lately with horses, like I haven't really been getting any days off, so I'm really tired. And... Yeah, I'm glad it's nice out, but I really want a day off soon. 
like people say how lucky I am and I am but like I did work to get where I have and I my phone cut off so I had to delete some stuff and now I've kind of lost my train of thought but basically what I'm saying is it's still work even if you like it a lot so yeah I'm exhausted and I still want a day off even though I really like doing what I do but yeah guess what time of year it is shedding season gross she's so fuzzy Okay, so I did trouble and I put her away and now I have my look. I'm gonna give him a haircut because he needs one and then I'm gonna ride him. But we're jumping. Ugh, I can't talk. We aren't jumping or anything until he gets his feet done tomorrow. Which sucks because there's a new jump course set up that's pretty cool. So we're just gonna do some flat work and pull work and maybe I'll put my phone up. Let him see if it'll record. So he really doesn't like getting his mane pulled, so I try not to do that often at all. I only do it when it's really thick. And then I take out these teeny tiny little strands. Um, there's a part that I need to fix. Um, and then I cut the rest and use a solo comb because pulling hurts them. Like that really shouldn't be rocket science that pulling the hair out by the roots hurts. But apparently a lot of people are in denial about that. So. Yeah, pulling hurts, so I try to do it in moderation and only when I really have to because he hates it, as you can probably see from that time lapse. And then I give him lots of treats. So, yeah. Look at all of the hair we lost. The darker ones are always his mane, and then the light ones his coat. <laughs> This is my CWD SE022 2C flap. It's 2012 and it's a 17 and a half inch and it is for sale. Please only contact me if you've talked to your parents and know you can afford it. It's $36.50 Canadian which is $27.50 US and yes that's $3,650 and $2,750. It is a very high end saddle. It's full calf skin. Um, it doesn't come with the leathers or the irons, so yeah, it's just a saddle, but it's a really nice saddle. It's medium, medium wide tree. The channel width is four fingers. It's nice, but yeah, please like 
only contact me if you can afford it because I've had lots of people being like oh like asking for more information and they'll be like 12 year olds and then they hear the price and they're like oh that's a lot I was looking for a saddle this price but the price is listed in the ad and I mean like if you know your saddles you know that this is a nice one wrapped with difficulty because you won't freaking stand still god damn it worse I think you haven't been worked, but seriously, you're getting old enough. I need my helmet. Probably won't get to do Archie today because I'm running late since he wouldn't stand still for his wraps. And I had to rewrap them like four times per leg. And then, because I kept dropping the wrap when he freaking moved. And then um, his mane took longer than I thought it would, but yeah, whatever. Freshly harrowed ring. Um, I'm gonna to set up a ground pull exercise for him. I think we'll see how he's doing because he's being a bit stupid today, so he might not be focused enough to do it. <laughs> Actually, tie him because he just always thinks he's tied and stands there anyways. See, I'm just icing his legs, and he's gonna just chill. Sleepy. Do you want a carrot? Yeah. Silly man. Ah, carrot problems. Chilling with the squad and Milo. Okay, so I have to get going to my next place. So he's going back, and I don't have time to do Archie, but I guess I'll do him tomorrow. He's only three, so it's really not that big of a deal, which is why I usually do Milo first because Milo needs more work, but clearly because he was bad today. Um, yeah, so I'm going to put him away and then I'm heading out. And I'm not going to be vlogging at the other place just because it's kind of like unprofessional. And um, like, I, like I didn't vlog while I was lunging the horses, I just did it in between. But it's kind of annoying. Milo, he knows I have carrots in his pocket, so he's trying to walk on the wrong side. But um, yeah, so... I won't vlog in between either just because I feel weird about doing it in front of people I don't know well. There's Archibald waiting at the gate for his buddy. Eileen, you seem nicer to him. 